So coming your way is my son Milo. He's on the InMotion V11. I'm going to see what he says about the InMotion. So, I mean, you just jumped on this just a minute ago. I mean, you haven't had any time on it. Plum, we, you know, right away you're good. Yeah? yeah. Nice. It I mean, it's so solid. It's so smooth when you're riding it. You don't even notice. And it's so silent, too. Yeah. It's just like... Sweet. Just go. Nice. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, I'm really impressed. So with this one, the wheel doesn't move. It's your connection to the wheel move, so you can really adjust it and tailor it for your weight. And if you're tall like Milo is, you're very tall on this, <laughs> very tall and visible. So, so far Milo's really digging this in motion V11. I've had a lot of scooters and a lot of unicycles and stuff, and Milo doesn't typically take to them as quickly as he is on this one, so that's a pretty great sign. Is he gonna come up behind the trucks? Around, let's see where he comes up from. Oh, there he is. All right, just want to give you a little closer look here at this InMotion V11. Some of its great features are this automotive grade headlight, big old beefy headlight. Of course, with headlights, um, you know, because it does move with the unicycle and it's a little lower, it's great for visibility for uh, other people seeing you, but you probably want a light on your helmet or something like that to control where you're looking, uh, just as a good precaution on any EUC. When you turn it on, see me. Oh. I did, I, uh, through the app, I chose the Transformers Chinese language uh, version of for the commands, which is kind of fun. When you first turn it on, the uh, there's a fan that actually turns on that cools this light because it's a lot of lumen outputs. Helps if I turn on the light so you actually can hear the fan turn on there. So that's really the noisiest thing on the whole unicycle, really, in riding. It's very quiet. The motor is makes, basically makes no noise when you're riding. Very solid trolley handle here. There's a button right here on the back. That, tilts that down for ready to ride. Then the seat actually, if you get the aftermarket seat, attaches this arm. Hit that button, this comes up really nice and solid. And then if you're gonna pick it up, you hit this button here under your hand and that turns off so the wheel doesn't start moving like that. So that's a disengagement of the wheel. A little bit angled up foot plates here. The, this whole area is a pad, so that's real nice. I'll turn off the light here so you don't hear that fan. Here it is back on so you can see the tail light. Uh, got this nice rubber fender here in the back and then the, the uh, kickstand, which I think is great. Doesn't work as well on uh, soft surfaces like I'm right now on this grass stuff. Uh, but on pavement, it works fairly well. I mean, it isn't super, super stable, so you can bump it over, but it's really nice to have. On the side, you can see the real beefy, is an 18 inch by three inch wide tire. Real wide tire, it gives you excellent stability combined with the, the slim nature of this unicycle and the fact that this whole mechanism that you're sitting on with, the, with your pads is on the suspension. So down on the bottom here, you can, I'm gonna lift it up so hopefully you can see it. Lift it up with care because it is heavy. Right down there, that red thing, the bottom, it's just a cap. And under that cap is just a suspension uh, nozzle for suspension pump. So it comes with a high volume suspension pump. So you set that for your body weight. Um, so that's nice, it's just kind of, it's just supporting your weight. So it's easy to dial in the setting for yourself. I think sometimes when it's also got the weight of the unicycle on it, some other things are also suspended, it's a little trickier to dial in the suspension settings. But once you get this dialed, it just makes for a buttery smooth ride. Right, I really can't see it in the camera, but right above the, the, the on button is right here on the top. And there's a, five, there's a battery indicator, so it gives you a quick uh, sneak peek of your current battery level. So I'm just gonna talk about the insane performance specs of this thing. This 84 volt system, so higher voltage gives you more power, 84 volts is really kicking out. And this thing has 1500 watt hours of battery. So this has over a, a kilowatt hour of battery. So it's, this actually has more battery in it than most years of the Toyota Prius did. So. If you can believe that, so the projected range of this is insane. I think you're really limited by your ability to stand on, on a unicycle for distance versus how far this thing will go, especially in one trip. The InMotion app is really easy function, uh, easy use. It's, I mean, everything about this unicycle is, you know, it's plastic but still well made. Uh, it just feels very solid. The, the way the motor engages, um, I'm 
kind of injured right now. So my son is gonna give you a ride on, just show you how nice this thing rides around and give you kind of a, some insights from a, a EUSU rider on how this thing does out there and how it is to ride and how you might like it. So take it away, my little. In motion V11. First thing you notice is how easy it is to ride. This street is very angled and you don't even really feel it. I mean, of course I've ridden quite a lot. So I'm, I'm fairly used to the unicycle, but really it's a very easy unicycle to ride. Very enjoyable, very smooth, easy on the hips. Now, as you're riding, of course, you do still feel vibration, but it's not nearly as bad as it is on a regular non-suspension unicycle. Now, I did try one other suspension unicycle. It was horrible. It felt so top-heavy because it was just one spring that was supporting everything, including the battery weight. This is just supporting the pedals, which is, you wouldn't think it's that big of a difference, but it is. It's huge. You really notice it especially on these roads. These roads, fairly well taken care of, but on bumpier roads, you really do notice it. Ooh, the gas power. Two opposite sides of the personal mobility spectrum. Well, I guess not opposite, but uh, rival, I should say. Now I'm noticing that it is tilting to the right because I'm on this right slanted road and I'm kind of compensating that with my hips, which isn't great, but it's not horrible either. I'm not falling over. The big thing on this is stopping because when you're stopping, I probably have eight inches of clearance below my feet right now. Standing at six foot 11 riding this unicycle around, you do get a lot of looks. Everybody's like, what the hell is that guy doing? Um, <clears throat> but uh, what was I saying? Oh yeah, the clearance from stepping off. If you're at a stoplight or a stop sign and you need to stop, it's a big drop. And the big drop means that the unicycle comes to a very steep angle. Ooh, rough. Oh wow, it's so smooth, what the hell? I actually did not expect that. I expected a lot more turbulence there, but it really was butter smooth. You hardly even noticed a difference. This stuff is hard to drive on in my truck, and it was fine on this. I'm not good at getting on and off unicycles. I do it when I have to, but I think, I haven't tried it yet on this, but I think if you were getting onto it, you would have a lot of trouble with that, just because of that height because you'd need to balance the unicycle with your one foot, which would mean you'd have to lean way over. It'd just be a whole thing. I don't know why it's so windy. I hope you can still hear me. That's a cool house. But really, <clears throat> this suspension feels incredible. All these bumps, I'd have to slow down on my other unicycle, slow down for these bumps. I mean, I feel them, of course. But man, they're, they're negligible. Now, as I get more comfortable, I am going faster. I'd say I'm probably going 15 right now. It's 15, 12, 15. And I'm going right into a headwind, which when you're on the bike path and you're going into a headwind on a unicycle, you can always feel it because I'm standing straight up. I am not aerodynamic at all. And you really do feel it, especially on the lower power unicycles because you feel how slow, especially going up a hill, when you get in that headwind, you're slow. This thing, I mean, it's got power. You don't even feel the headwind, like, pushing into you. You just feel it, but you don't feel any change in the unicycle itself. Really, the great thing about this, you don't notice that it's there. I can ride and forget that I'm riding a unicycle, which maybe wouldn't end up great for me, but I guess that stands up for the product itself. Yeah, man, this is great. First day that I rode it, 
I uh, hadn't ridden, ridden a unicycle in a couple months and normally I have to go along the fence for a second, warm up to it. This I hopped on and immediately started going. There was no hesitation, nothing. It was incredible. That ability just to be able to go up, get on it and go is really fantastic and that really speaks to the um, stability of this unicycle. I'd say the cons of this, the weight, the size, and the height that you are from the ground. Um, I mean, it's so heavy. There's a little switch on there under the handle for when you pick it up and you need to take it downstairs or something like that. But you really want to never use that handle because it is so heavy, so heavy, that it's just a pain to pick up. Now, the size, of course, you can't fit it in your backpack. That's the great thing about this tiny little unicycle is you can put it in your backpack, put it in your office at work, and forget about it. This thing, you have to have, like, a special spot in your car. You have to reserve a seat for it. You know, it's not, it's not a toy. And the height from the pedals, like I was saying, your ability to get on and off at stoplights is really hindered. Hope I'm not using my hands too much right in front of the camera. Probably am. Oh, sorry. Conclusion, it's a great unicycle, does the job, feels great. You're just gonna pay in cost, weight, size, and foot pain.